All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel for another market update. All right, so I'm going to start off by pointing some things out. All right, I want to point out that right here, you had a bullish divergence that literally marked the bottom. I do believe this is around the time when I was making my post saying like, guys, like this is kind of like, to me, that was a clear as day like ad. And I want you guys to know, which you guys already should, because I've been like saying it constantly. Um, but this is my call side of the strangle. Okay, I do believe this is an opportune entry for the call side of the strangle. We got this hourly uh, broadening bottom slash bear flag formation. It did seem to have bounced right at the bottom, and I did actually connect it. Um, so if you don't use the wicks and you just connect the bodies of the candles, then yeah, this is what you would get. Um, but I just want to point out that you literally had a big bullish diverge right here that literally marked the bottom. Mark the bottom on the 15 minute time frame. I do believe I sent a picture of this in one of my posts. Um, and I'm just letting you guys know, okay? Like, I don't want you guys to rely on me. All right. I really don't. Okay. I'm going to stop posting the three minute bearish and bullish divergences unless, like, I really see some convergence. Okay. If I seen something on the hourly chart, the 15 minute chart, the three minute chart, it's all pinpointing one exact entry. I'm going to, I'm going to, I might, I might throw it in there. Um, but I really don't want people to rely on me because I realized today, like without tr the trade management that I apply in my trading, like, like right here, I took some off the top. All right. Like I took, uh, pretty much one third of the calls I had off the top here. Um, just because there's that for me. All right. And I realized like, Hey, I wanted to sell when they were right about at break even. Okay. Because like, Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. And I have said that I want to be heavier on the put side. And if I'm too heavy on the call side, then I'm going to feel the need to go really heavy on the put side. And I don't want to have this be a large part of my money currently. All right. Um, this is a first for me. I'm doing a strangle. All right. So I do believe risk management is needed when entering something like this. But also when trading intraday, okay, like what I've been calling out, that is what I had a realization today without my trade management. I probably wouldn't be all right right now as like what I am right now. Right now, I'm, I'm down 70 bucks on the day. That's like, that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. But earlier, it wasn't like that, all right? But up here, I noticed I was up big, all right? You just add at the opportune times and you apply trade management slash risk management. But if the newbie traders are the people that I'm kind of trying to target on Weeble because like I'm trying to give people like a guide here. Like if you don't know what you're doing, please don't keep losing money. Here is what to do. But I don't want to give people like a, just exact things to do. I, I really don't. So I'm going to start, I'm going to stop tr trying to call out these uh, three minute bullish and bearish divergences, even though they really are accurate and I keep just nailing it. All right, like this was the bottom. I was sitting next to my friend and that's when I had the realization like it's like actually scary. Like like at each and every buy has consistently been like very like I've just pretty much not listened to the emotions. All right? Completely not listen and now I'm up on the day, all right? Like that's what I'm saying. Like but without that, I don't know if I would be up on the day. You know are are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like it's really just that's what I'm getting at. Like, it's really, it's a, it's a must that someone applies risk management slash trade management or they will get creamed, all right? Like, if this thing, we're going to pull up this right here. Um, We're going to get rid of that. We're going to pull you up right there. So if this thing doesn't break here, which you already did, but if it doesn't break here, then you have a clear as day bearish divergence. I will be taking even more off, all right? Because I am a safe guy, okay? Especially from the account that I am trying to trade the intraday moves with. I'm definitely taking money off them calls, all right? That's what I'm trying to do with that account. I'm trying to see if it outperforms my normal account, all right? So I really, I, I, I just want to see, all right? Because so far it is, like, to, to the max. And it's just because I'm only trading with, like, I started off with one or two contracts in there and it allowed me to make like a several buys throughout the day on whichever side I like had a bias towards because of my daily TA. Um, so yeah, and all in all, I could have sold the calls and went short at these times and I could have made even more, but I'm not going to do that um, because I just you know we're in crazy times right now. All right. We're going into FOMC. It's the first time doing a strangle for me. All right. And I need to make sure this is like a, this is a solid entry. It's a solid position. All right, but if I'm seeing Warren signs, you know, I, I've been readjusting all day. Like up here, there was that. I think I actually already pointed, I, I pointed all this out. All right, so let's get into the daily TA. 
which really has not changed much. But I do want to point out that we do have a... This is a uh, bearish army, right? Because it's an up candle. Like, uh, here, hang on. Let me... Okay, go over here. Pattern. Oh, it was actually. I don't know why I even pulled this away? Bring you right here, okay? Um, uh, is it doing it? Bearish Harami. Bearish Harami. Pattern site. Yeah, the pattern site dot com. Okay. Oh shit, man. Tested performance, bullish continuation, 53% time. Guys, we got hope. The TA, the candlestick is on our side, guys. It's on our side. All right. Um, I, I really do think I was making a very good choice, though, at adding calls down here. Like, I'm serious, guys. I, I, like, I continuously have been doing this, and I was talking to my friend about it, and it's, like, just a scary thing. Like, it really is just a scary thing. Like, you are continuously, like, it's almost like you're buying a knife. All right, but once I see the next thing, like once I see this clear as day bullish divergence start forming right in front of my eyes, and when you got the 15 minute chart doing this as well, marking the same exact spot as the other one I just pointed out, like, dude, it's so clear as day that like you feel like an idiot for not doing it. And that's how I've been trading. I've just been not using like a lot of size on these intraday moves. I've been trading it. I've been doing very good the past week. Yeah, actually, the past week, I've, I've really killed it with the, these intradays have, uh, They've added a lot to my profits, I will say. In one account, I don't think it would have more than doubled now. Or actually, no, not more than doubled. It's just about doubled because I was a little down today. Um, so it's pretty much, yeah, it's break even on the day. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I don't think that would have happened if I wasn't taking these. So I'm not going to cut this out. I'm going to keep doing this and seeing where that account goes with it. Because I do think this, if, if you got the time and focus there, I'm just literally training and uh, being with my dogs all day. You can clear as day, like just literally do what I'm doing right here during this video. Just watch, just keep a chart open. Weeble and trading view. I constantly check them because Weeble sometimes has things that this doesn't. This has things that the other one doesn't. But like I might even take some off the table right now because now I'm up a little on all the contracts, right? I might take some off the table because look at this. You have like unless I mean, I don't know. If this thing starts turning down, then I do think, yeah, it's turned down right now. Like this is this might be a bearish, uh, a bearish, uh, brain fart, bearish divergence forming right in front of our eyes. This is a perfect example. All right. So I don't know if it is going to, but I'm just going to keep that up and just know if this move continues up and it breaks past there, then, uh, past this right here, then there you go. But if it starts, look at that guys, look at, we might've just called a thing where someone could potentially trim. Should I potentially trim? I'm going to stay in them, all right? I'm going to stay in I'm doing the strangle, and I might do it in both accounts. I don't know. Right now, I'm only in the calls. Um, but yeah, guys, so like, if we get right up to FOMC tomorrow, and it's like, we're saying 130, all right? It's 130, or we'll say 145, whatever it is at, okay? Like, I mean, they announced what they're doing at 2 o'clock. So like 155, realistically, I will start entering these October 21st puts, no matter what the price, that is the moment when I don't care about the price, I will buy into them, okay? I will have made money off these calls. I am, like, hoping that's the case, but also my TA favors this, and that's why I'm doing this, all right? I entered my call side of my strangle. I'm fully in right now, and I'm looking actually to add. I I, I took, like, probably one-third off the table. Um, at, I think it was right here. Yeah, this bearish divergence I was seeing right here. Um, and I'm looking to add that back, okay? But... If, it, if I don't get the opportunity, that's fine, okay? The strangle will just be a little smaller. Um, but I told you guys I'm getting more date on the uh, put side, and I'm going heavier on the put side, and that's because I'm super biased to that side. And think about it this way. If the market starts going down off this news, the dealers, it doesn't, like, the amount of puts that's on that whole side will actually crash the market. And we might get a 30 to 50. Like, I'm talking some crazy shit. If it's, like... If the squeeze doesn't happen upwards, I'm serious. That's what's going to happen. The dealers get squeezed. Like, always behind these market moves, these big-ass moves, like this candle right here, someone's getting squeezed. Why do you think that day was violent? We had that violent push towards the end of the day. People were exiting the short position, slash people were getting squeezed, all right? Dealers were getting squeezed, in my opinion. Um, well, I, I, I guess it's not an opinion. I'm saying that, but, like, I don't know that. So, I, yeah, I guess it's opinion. I don't know. Uh, I conflict myself sometimes. Um, 
But yeah, guys, okay, like we have a bearish Harami, but the continue the tested uh performance is bullish continuation. The theoretical performance is bearish reversal. But I just want to point out that we had a bullish golden candle right here and nothing happens. And I want to point out this. All right. You have declining volume here. And today was like we went all the way down here. All right. That's a pretty hefty move. So I'm really I'm serious, guys. Like I I do firmly believe that dealers were in control of today's manipulation okay and don't complain about the manipulation thank the manipulation if it weren't for that we wouldn't get these entries these are perfect for us all right at least from me okay if you want to mimic this feel free okay that's why i put it out if you guys want to learn that's what the videos are for if you guys literally just want to know where the market is most likely heading where probability suggests it's going to head that is what the weeble updates are for and the videos i guess um but yeah guys like look at this okay like this thing might turn up and do that or this thing might start turning around we don't know okay but i mean that's exactly how you guys are going to apply this so-called trade slash risk management that i think that not think about that i i talk about in these videos like look at this guys i caught the bottom again all right and I, i'm not saying this to brag i'm saying this like when all like i, I was talking to my friend about it it's, it really does continuously feel like holy shit you're buying into a falling knife but like you have to throw the emotions out the window and do what the chart is suggesting, all right? And that's something that, like, I really do think is going to change the game, all right? And my friend said that. He was like, wait a minute, didn't you say that, like, one or two months ago to me? Like, that that's when things started changing, when you started throwing emotions out the window. And I was like, yeah, holy shit, yeah, no, straight up. Like, it really does change the game when you, like, admit that your emotions really are in control most of the time. And there needs to be times when they're running rampant where you have to shut them up, all right? You got to keep them on the coat hanger or the coat rack, all right? Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, it's still the same exact setup pretty much, all right? The candlestick pattern suggests bullish continuation, all right? 53% time, but it's pretty much random, all right? But I do want to point out you have the bullish divergence right here, and that's the point of our strangle. If we do get the 75 BP hike, maybe we get a knee-jerk reaction to the downside, and then they come out dovish. And when they start coming out dovish, and we start seeing bull like bullish divergences form on the hourly time frame, 50 min time frame and stuff, maybe we cut some of the puts. And we like, you know, 75 BP hike. It didn't like obviously we didn't get a Volcker moment. We didn't get something that's gonna bring it down to lows. I would say we're gonna probably gonna rally if you get the 75 BP hike. That's the point of the calls. Okay, guys. All right, I think I covered everything. Uh at the end of the day, we had this bearish engulfing candle on the week of time frame. When those have happened, they marked tops right here, right here, right here, and now we have one right here. I think it is going to be the same case, which is why I'm going heavier tomorrow on the puts, okay? And if it does come to right up until that Guys, I called it. Guys, what the fuck, guys? I told you. I'm serious, guys. I'm, I'm, I don't want to brag, but I'm serious. I don't say and call out the things because I believe in bullshit, okay? I, I do it because I'm like, yo, like this has continuously worked for me. I'm not going to not share with everyone. But again, this is what I do. It doesn't have to be what you do. All right. But look at that. You rejected right at where it would have formed, you know? Um, and yeah, guys, I guess with that being said, I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll catch you over on Weeble for like a specific FOMC update. It's probably going to be around five o'clock today because it's going to be a little longer for me to write out um, because I got to talk about FOMC, the, all the potential outcomes. All right. But you guys know what I'm doing for the strangle ahead of. Uh, ahead of time before i even talk about the possible outcomes and that uh supports someone being wise rather than gambling okay because if i told you the outcomes and you guys thought it was going to be like guaranteed 100 bp i know for a fact some of these weevil people would uh actually take some of these uh like they take a gamble they would take a complete gamble and not do what i'm doing with the strangle right and i think this is very wise what i'm doing the strangle guys this thing is ensuring that if if there is a squeeze upwards. We're not the ones getting squeezed, okay? But if there's a 100 BP hike, we have to clip. We have to clip these calls immediately. I promise when that does happen, or if it does happen, all right? I'm, I don't want to say when. But look at this, guys. Look at that. What the fuck is happening? This is dealers, all right? That's what I'm saying. Triple bearish divergence. 
That's what I'm saying. I've been seeing it all day. There's been multiple bearish divergences forming, or not multiple bearish divergences, but multiple divergences forming just out of nowhere. Look at these triple again. Well, you had like a, a one, a two, a three, a four, and you just kept falling the whole time. And then finally you got it. Um, But like, if you were me, all right, you made your first buy and you were like, ah, oh, shit. Well, that this first bullish divergence didn't mean shit. And then the second one didn't mean shit. But like, that's what I'm saying. You have to take your emotions out of it. And you have to also apply the risk management. I knew that I was in the red over here. Um, I wasn't down a lot because I kept, I was buying at opportune moments. I was like, holy shit, like this is not too bad. And when I started falling here, I was watching for the point when it would be considered a bullish divergence. And the second candle, which was on this candle, I was able to get into more calls. And then I was able to trim, okay? And that's the point, okay? Like, I knew I was red down here. I was like, you know, I wasn't comfortable. I was too heavy. So I took it out at the first chance possible by just keeping my emotions on the coat rack. All right, guys. So with that being said, I will catch you guys tomorrow or over on Weeble, whichever you can you uh, prefer. And uh, yeah, peace out, Cub Scouts.